Hey there folks, I know it seems like I'm wearing the same shirt in all these videos, but I'm uh, making up on lost time for some of these reviews. I just watched House, and uh, oh man, that was a trippy movie. I had heard about this film a few years back, and it's just like, this cover is so weird that you have to be intrigued of, you know, what the hell is this? And it, it's a weird description, Criterion even gives like a weird description of it too. How to describe Nobuhu... Nobuhiko's, ah, Nobuhiko's, uh, Obayashi's indescribable, indescribable, um, 1977 movie House as a psychedelic ghost tale, a stream of consciousness bedtime story, an episode of Scooby-Doo directed by Mario Bava. It's like, even Criterion's like, okay, well, what do you classify this as? It's a really weird movie. These, uh, these seven girlfriends go to an aunt's house and trippy things happen. Trippy, trippy things. Even the, in the beginning of the movie, it's really weird. Like the way, like certain transitions and like, you know, Irish clo Irish shots, uh, animated sequences with like tr monorail trains and rainbows. <laughs> um, there's one of my favorite scenes of the movie is basically uh, where, when we get the ants backstory. And it's told as like a silent movie with like title cards, but also like voiceover from like the girls reacting to the story, almost like a live um, photo album in a sense, which is really a really cool sequence. And it's like all these girls get like these weird punishments, or like they get like tortured or killed in some weird way. I don't want to. One of them that I thought was really interesting was the the girl who plays the piano gets eaten by a piano. Yeah, and later on you see her fingers are playing on the piano. It's really weird. And you have, like, s psychic and, like, telepathic cats. Telekinetic cat. A cat in that film. I'm like, oh my god. It's so weird. It's and But the color palette is really interesting, though. Um, a lot of, like, oranges and, like, blues. In the, um in the cinematography and like the product overall design of the film and it's it's a really good looking production <laughs> uh man but it's so weird and the res restoration by criterion is really cool i also was skipping around through like the bonus features and there's this like 45 minute like documentary on the film where the filmmaker talk basically talks about how he came up with the film and you know, because at the time, Jaws was a new thing, and Jaws was a massive hit, and he was just like, how can I make something, it's like Jaws, but I can't make Jaws, and he talked to his daughter about it, because in his opinion, you know, when you ask an adult to make something, they're only going to think on logical terms, they're only going to think like, oh, you know, the only logical thing you do other than a shark attacking a boat is a bear attacking a tent, or an ants attacking a picnic, or so on and so forth. But with a child, a child is able to think of the illogical and, you know, things that don't exist. And I felt that was a really interesting um, point of this thing's inception. Because it, it certainly feels like, in many ways, it's like the combination of a child's mind on, like, a psychedelic trip. <laughs> um, so I would say, you know, at maybe one of the 50% off sales for Criterion, check this one out. Or if you can rent it from your library, I would, you know, maybe you and a couple friends could do some stuff and check this out. Who knows? <laughs> this is, I watched this with my brother and he, he doesn't know how to make heads or tails of it. Like when I got to the credits, I'm like, oh, the credits look interesting. He's just like, just turn it off. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>